Hearthstone is heading in a direction, and it might be more controversial than you might think. What's up folks, Falcone Punch 55 here, and today I want to speak a little bit about Hearthstone as a whole since standard format. From what I remember hearing and reading in the past, Team 5 decided that something had to be done about Hearthstone urgently around the time that they were conceiving League of Explorers. The reasons for that were twofold. Firstly, the increasing difficulty for new players trying to get into Hearthstone, and a bigger issue. In order for players to want to keep buying the new expansions, the cards in the new expansions need to be playable, which means generally they're going to need to be stronger than the cards in the older expansions. This does mean eventually four drops that are stronger than Piloted Shredder, and seven drops that are stronger than Dr. Boom. It's the dreaded phrase, power creep. Yu-Gi-Oh! has a list of banned cards that change every season. Uh, Magic the Gathering and the Pokemon trading card games have set rotations. And Hearthstone had to follow in the footsteps of one of these card games or its metagame would become a joke. But of course, joke is a word that is frequently being used by Hearthstone pros at the moment to describe the amount of random effects in the game. RNG seems to get injected into Hearthstone at varying levels in every single expansion. With these guys being some standouts from the recent sets. So what is Blizzard's grand plan for Hearthstone? What sort of game are these puzzle pieces going to form when they fall into place? And how will the current crop of Hearthstone pros full of contempt every time they lose to one of these random effects, how will they feel about the future of Hearthstone? My gut instinct? They're not gonna like it that much. Hearthstone has always been a game that's focused fun at its very core. Yes, it's highly competitively played and one of the most watched esports in the world, but that's not its foundation. In fact, I don't believe Hearthstone was ever supposed to be a huge eSport. I think it was always meant for fun. And pro players, competitive Hearthstone, that's not actually the target audience for the game. Nor is it the game's largest audience. While the Yogg-Saron nerf seemed vital to myself, and I'm sure most of you watching, the hundreds of thousands of casual players that log into Hearthstone every day just to play a couple games and, and get to rank 20 every month and rarely get upset when they're defeated by Yogg-Saran. These players don't like the nerf. In fact, it's probable that more people were upset about Yogg-Saran's nerf than happy about it. Where, where am I getting this from? Right, first, let's establish that there are players that play Hearthstone just casually for its fun, wacky nature. And let's establish that these players actually don't mind Yogg-Saran, or in fact, enjoy it because of its chaotic fun. They probably love the random cards like this, and heck, Prince Malkazar seems like it was designed specifically for this type of player. And let's also assume that anyone who ever visits the Hearthstone subreddit probably take the game quite seriously. Now I'd like to draw your attention to this straw poll that was conducted on the Hearthstone subreddit recently that asked if Blizzard would and should nerf Yogg-Saran. Only 25% of users thought that Blizzard would nerf it, and only 50% actually thought they should. So given our premise that Yogg-Saran is only a nuisance to those that take Hearthstone at least somewhat seriously, and that only those that take Hearthstone somewhat seriously ever visit the Hearthstone subreddit or websites like Hearthhead, even though those more likely to like Yogg-Saran were not included in this straw poll, it was still only 50-50 as to the amount of players that wanted Yogg-Saran to get nerfed. So what was that crazy Yogg-Saran nerfing tangent all about? The most important thing to Blizzard, even more important than having a balanced competitive scene, is having a fun, accessible game. 
Yes, they had to cave under pressure with Yogg-Saran. Maybe they went a little bit too far with this card. And pro players in Hearthstone are popular. They do sway a lot of opinions. But I don't think this is the direction that Blizzard want to take Hearthstone, nor is it ultimately the direction Hearthstone is going to go. As far as the immediate future goes, there is a lot to be excited about. League of Explorers was the last expansion last year before the first set rotation, meaning that they are the cards from last year that are going to stay in Hearthstone for the smallest amount of time. So, as a result, Blizzard released some riskier cards. Finley, Bran, Elise, and Reno all see far more play than any of the Karazhan legendaries, barring maybe Barnes. And I think that we're gonna see loads more of that in the upcoming expansion. And with all final expansions before the format changes in the future. Now, as much as I love the competitive Hearthstone scene, and believe me, I do, I love the fun that I have playing Hearthstone even more. And I am very excited to see what the next expansion will be, right down to the fun thematic trailer that we're bound to have introducing it. So what is your opinion? Do you agree with me that this is the way the future of Hearthstone is going to go? Uh, and if you do agree with me, do you actually like that? Or would you prefer they took a more serious route and ditched the casual players? Maybe there is a way Blizzard could please everyone? As usual, make sure you drop Hearthhead a like on Facebook, a follow on Twitter, and give this video a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another video next week.